guys, it's Dina here with my beautiful doll Brooklyn, number 35. I am here to review on her. This has been highly, highly requested, especially on my Instagram. I've been getting lots of requests. And yes, I do have an Instagram, so be sure to check the link in the description of this video about my Instagram channel. You can find lots of behind the scenes stuff, and I do read lots of stuff on there, and that's how I figured out that a lot of you want to see a review of Brooklyn. So for all those of you asking for this review, here is Miss Beautiful Brooklyn to help me tell you a little bit about her. So let's get started, guys. So here's sort of just an overview of her. She has feathered brown eyebrows. Brown eyes. A nice little tint to her lips and really blush cheeks that I really like. As you can tell, are really noticeable on the screen. She has light skin and as characterized on the American Girl website, red hair. And I call it red hair. But you may call it something different, but to me, that's what I call it. So please don't comment, it's not red hair. That's what I call it and please accept that. So now I'm just going to zoom in and show you a little bit about her beautiful face. So here's a close-up view of her face. You can really see how pretty the coloring of her skin is. I, like I said, the cheeks are amazing and her lips have a really nice color to them. I find them pretty dark compared to some of my other dolls' lips. And here you can see the layers to her hair. The front is layered and the back is actually straight, so I'll be sure to show you that after. So yeah, and you can see her eyes are beautiful, chocolatey brown and the feathered eyebrows and her skin, everything just complements her so well. So that is an up close view of her face. And so now I'm gonna talk about her hair a little bit. So I'm gonna be talking about Brooklyn's hair now, number 35. I prefer her hair pulled to the side, to one side, like you see there, either in a braid or just with a little clip because you can see here that she has this little part here and it kind of can get in the way. So right now I'm going to take her hair out of the clip and show you guys what it looks like completely down. So here she is with her hair completely uh, down on both sides and here you can really see the layering of her hair. There's like, kind of goes down, they really blended it well and you see that there. So. That's where it is. I guess she kind of has this part that's kind of more to the right side. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to turn her around and show you guys the back of her hair. So here's the back of Brooklyn's hair. You can see that the back is all one length, like I said. And you can kind of see the color better here. So really the part, like the, the shorter parts are really just right in the front here, as you could see, like right there. That's where the short pieces are. So the back is really completely, utterly straight. So yeah. Just a little bit of hair like that. Short ones up there. Alrighty, so since her hair is layered, obviously it is difficult to do um, certain hairstyles on her. But her hair is honestly, I think, the softest out of all my dolls. Her and Charlie have the softest hair, but I've had her since July of last year. And her hair is just magnificent and so soft. It's seriously really soft like a dog, honestly. So yes, like I said, styling is difficult with her hair, but I prefer it down because it's so beautiful. You can put in a ponytail pretty good and yeah and I think it would look gorgeous too if you got the curly ponytail. The hair piece that I really in now at American Girl. So she is awesome too if you want a first doll. Her hair is amazing. You can do a lot with it like I said though but there are a few things you can do but for me I just love it down and like that with the little part in the front and she has that sweet little face. So that concludes my review of my American Girl number 35 who I named Brooklyn. So if you have any more questions about her, please comment them down below. I'm sure a ton of you are going to be asking where I got this dress. Please check the description because I don't want to spend the whole video talking about it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And Brooklyn wants to say thank you as well. And like I said, I highly recommend this doll. She's great for any collection to spruce it up. And a cute little redhead and easy, easy hair. And everything blends beautifully. Her eyes and her red hair and her lips. Just a home run and a great job on American Girl's part. Thanks for watching guys, bye. Hey everyone, it's Tina here, and today I'm here to show you guys my September um, finds for Dina's monthly AG finds.